Greetings and salutations. Time for another Fusion tutorial. Uh, this time it's uh, something that was requested by Bill. Um, he goes by Pyburner on uh, Twitter and um, he asked me to do a tutorial to show an efficient way of making a little PCB enclosure box um, using projections and uh, all that kind of stuff and there's probably a million different ways of doing it um, but I figured this is probably the simplest way to start out um, so yeah hopefully you'll find something useful in here enjoy Alright, well to start off with, Bill sent me a couple of um, design sketches, I guess, um, for the box that he wanted to make. And as you can see, it's a fairly simple design. Got the top half and bottom half, and they're both pretty much exactly the same. Got a little slot in either side some little screw holes to mount the board and screw it in and the top half has a little slot to put some cables through and they were missing a couple of dimensions like the width of this edge which I've asked him about and it's 110 as opposed to the 112 off that side so I just drew that one in and the other one that was missing well, one of the other ones that was missing was the length of these screw posts and um, on one half they stick out above the width of the box itself and it's 21 mils from the floor of the inside of the box so with that we should have enough to work off um, as you can see you've got three mil wall thickness all the way around and um, yeah that should be enough for us to work off so to get started we can create a new component we'll just call it box and then to keep things nice and neat within that we'll create a new component again and I'll call it top and then we can get started and because we're working on the top created on horizontal plane <coughs> then we can draw a rectangle we'll start at the origin give us a nice locked point from which we can work and D for dimension and we know that the vertical dimension as it were is 112 and horizontal 110 and then we can draw our little screw posts actually we'll do them down here and there's a lot of different ways you could do this but I'm just going to do two little circles like that could use the offset command but not much point in this particular instance and we'll draw two of them just to make it a little bit easier later on we can mirror them and press escape to get rid of that and D for dimension and the dimension of the inner one is 2.8 <coughs> and dimension of the outer is 6 and then same for that side 2.8 and dimension in the alpha is 6 and they have to be situated 7.8 mil from the corner so we'll select the center point there and that edge drag that down it's got to be 7.8 mil from there and again center point to that edge 
7.8. So that's all nicely locked in. I'll just do the same for the other side. 7.8. And 7.8. Now, although we don't really need it at this point, just to make things easier, we'll draw in the little slot for the cable hole and Again, to make things easier and make sure we get it right, we'll draw ourselves a little construction line through the center point just to make sure we get everything accurate. And as you can see, if we move along this line, when you get to the center point, it shows a little triangle. Might be a little bit hard to see there, but a little triangle icon pops up above it. And I'll just drag down a bit from there, and as you can see, it's got a little dotted line indicating that we're still on that point. I'll press X to turn on construction line because we don't want it to actually be a line, it's just a reference point. And just draw a little vertical line up like that. <coughs> now we can get our rectangle tool. I'll just draw a little rectangle like that. And actually don't want that to be a construction line, so we'll turn construction off just by pressing X again and draw that again. So now we've got our rectangle and we can set our dimensions. Now we know that the slot itself is 4 mil from the outer wall, so we can set that dimension to be 4mm, and the width of the slot itself is 6mm. And as you can see, the width of the slot itself is 88 and to make sure that we get that right, we've got our center point. So we can go from there to the center point, be 44. And what you can see there is it actually moved that construction line rather than moving the outer edge. So to stop that from happening, we'll just control Z to undo that a few times. And if we select our center point line and right click, we can say fix. And that'll actually lock that in position. So now if we do our D for dimension from there to the center point and type 44, you'll see it actually shifts that over to there. We do the same for the other side, 44, and again shifts it over to there without affecting the center point. So that's our slot um, sketch done. And we can basically say finish. And that's pretty much all we need for now. So to make the box itself, we can simply select all of that. <coughs> and the, oops, the width of the box is 18 mil. So we say E for extrude, and we can just type 18, and that extrudes that up to 18 mil. We do want it to be a new body, and as you can see under here, under bodies, we've got a new body. We can even call that one top. And as we said before, it's the box itself has a wall thickness of three millimeters. And although it didn't say um, the 
thickness of the floor of the box is three we can pretty safely assume that it would be so to make that we can simply select the top of that face and go to modify and shell type in three and there we go nice little three millimeter thick walls across there across there and if we select that you can see that that's three mil from the base of the object as well so now that we've got that we know that the bottom half of the box even though this is actually looking like a bottom half um, is basically going to be built off the same thing what we can do is mirror that across and to do that we need a construction plane so we can say construction plane and we want it to be on there so we've got a nice horizontal plane across the top edge and now what we can do is uh, create a mirror and we want to mirror the component Our mirror plane and as you can see that created a new component and call that one bottom even though it is actually situated on the top <laughs> but as you can see it's kind of hidden for now because we're still working on this component so we don't need that construction plane anymore, we can hide that. And it looks like it actually cloned that construction plane as well. So we can just hide that one as well. And we can even turn off that body just to make things a little bit more easily visible. So now for our little screw posts, we'll hide that body just to make selecting things a bit easier. And we select our little profiles, unhide that, and you can see that those two profiles are right on the base of the object, and the dimension that we have or it goes from the floor of the inside of the box. So if we extrude it from there 21 mil, it will be incorrect. Um, so we go E for extrude, and rather than profile plane, which is the plane on which the sketch is drawn, I want to say from object, select the inside of the box, and then we type 21. Oh. When we've got the dimension selected, 21 and join. And that's actually extruded at 21 mils from the inside of the box rather than from the base, which would be 3 mil too short. So now we've got that, we need to mirror those across to the bottom side and to do that again we need a construction plane and we know we want it to be mirrored across the midpoint so we can go mid plane and we can just select the inside wall there and the inside wall there 
and it creates a nice little construction plane right through the center of the design. So now if we go back to our mirror command and we don't want components this time we just want features and this allows us to mirror the extrude that we did. So we just select those two posts select our mirror plane and there you go nicely mirrored little screw posts and again we don't need that construction plane so we'll just turn that off and then to create our little slot just hide that select that one and because this is a hole we can just say extrude pull it up and it will be a cut operation and you see let's cut the hole right through the box which is exactly what we want <coughs> so for now we'll go back and continue to work on the bottom half so we'll hide that one or rather than hide it we might unhide our top half and we actually want to activate that as the active component since that's what we want to work on and we need to create our little screw post on the opposite half and actually we do want to hide that so if we select our interface up there we want to create a sketch on that face now if we unhide that what we can actually do is press P for project and we need to hide that half again we can select those edges and as you can see as I highlight them it's also creating a, another copy up here and what that's actually doing is basically just projecting those edges onto the face that we created the sketch on so we say OK on that now we can switch that one off switch that one back on that selection and we can select our little profiles and this is where our missing dimension was but given that we know both halves of the box are 18 mil thick minus the 3 mil for the floor and the posts on the top half are 21 mil from the floor we can basically figure out that uh, the dimension between the two floors are 30 mil so we'll say 30 mil minus 21 minus um, the thickness of the PCB which he's going to place in there and the average PCB is about 1.57 mil thick um, so just to be on the safe side we'll say 1.6 so we're left with 7.4 
so we actually want to extrude seven point four mil and it is a join operation so now you can see they've been extruded seven point four now if we unhide that top half you can see there's just a little bit of a gap between the top and the bottom half which will give us a nice little gap for the PCB to fit in and obviously you can adjust that to fit whatever PCB you've got um, but generally PCBs are about 1.57 mil from memory thick um, so 1.6 probably close enough <clears throat> so now that we've got that for the bottom half now we just need to create the slots in the side and basically they're exactly the same for each one we can see that 14 mil, 14 mil, and on that side we've got 33.5 and 33.5, and they just differ in the amount that they sit through each side. So 12.5 on the top half and 8 mil on the bottom. So given we're working with the bottom, we'll just go back to our home view so we know which way we're looking at. So this is the base of the object and if we bring back our bottom view. This is obviously the inside and that's side B we can assume this is the floor in here so we want 8 mil from the open edge and just to check we've got our orientation there's the slot across the bottom so we want to create the slots in the side here so we can select that face and say create sketch and we know that it needs to be 16 mil down from that edge and 8 mil from that edge 33.5 so create ourselves a little rectangle and we can say D for dimension I want it to be 16 mil from there I want that to be 33.5 and we want it to be 8 mil from that edge and the width of the box if we look at the top half 12.5 on the opposite side so we can actually bring that one oops we drag that one down a bit and then we say D for dimension deselected between there and there I want to be 12.5 so that's our little slot created 
and for the opposite side it's going to be 14 mil 7 mil 41 from the top edge so again we can create Actually, do that on the other side. Yeah, we'll finish the sketch for now. So we just select our two profiles, E for extrude, cut through the wall. So there's our slot created in one half. Now, if we come over to the other side, create sketch. Again, we'll do a little rectangle. <clears throat> and this time we want it to be 41. So D. It's going to be 41 from there. And for the top half, come over this side, it goes 5mm into that side. So from there to there, 5. So finish. Need that one really just say E for extrude cut through the box done and we can actually unhide that change that to a cut operation Select that as the active component. Cut, and as you can see, it's cut through the other box. And exactly the same thing through this one. Change that to a cut. Okay. So that is that. Hide all of these sketches, etc. If we go back to our top component, you can see we've got both halves of the box there. Got our nice little slot in the bottom. Um, just make that a bit easier to see. Hide our sketches and our construction. So yeah, that's pretty much it that's our little box created all right well that about wraps it up for this tutorial um, join me next time when I'll show you how to create a little clip for the inside of the box uh, to hold the pieces together uh, so that way you don't have to have screws showing from the outside of the box um, I would have fitted into this one but it was already getting a bit too long so um, yeah join me next time for that and I'll uh, probably go over a few little parameters and things that you can use as well. So yeah, if you like this tutorial, uh, give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that kind of jazz. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments or hit me up on Twitter, at the real And uh, yeah, until next time, happy fusioning. Catch you later.